Next on the court, the first game in the men's competition, Russia versus Uganda, face to face in uh, this match that will open the 2019 ANLC World Beach Games 3 basketball competition in the men's schedule. And we start with a foul against uh, the Russian Federation. So uh, looks like uh, Jonathan Ego was in the act of shooting. And they're seeing one free throw for him. Russia not happy with the goal. They considered the foul was uh, way before the shot attempt. So Uganda opens the first one. The two corner here missed by uh, Ivan uh, Ramo. And now Uganda misses on the shot. Jonathan Ago, very athletic, but. Uh, not able to finish from underneath the basket. And that's a foul against Uganda. Basket will not count. Fire Bale checked the head of his opponent, so that's why he was called for the first uh, foul against Uganda. This is Chiburkin from outside. Mitty Chiburkin, most experienced player for the Russian Federation. And the tank is still opening Qatar. This time it's Henry Oko to open a fresh account here. Put it in my tab, Mr. Oko. Uganda up by three. They get a fresh shot block. Bail. Unable to finish is uh, Jonathan Ago. Now uh, Dimitri Chiburkin. Chiburkin gives the ball inside, and this time we have a foul against uh, Hramov, who was trying to split the defense. He was going to the basket. But he was in the act of shooting as you were watching the replay here. So Ivan Hramov with a chance uh, to put the first point on the board for the Russian Federation, but 
Russia stays with zero on the side after one minute in this game. Daniel Abramovsky checks into the game, placing Chiburkin. Ram back to Abramovsky. Abramovsky lowering his shoulder. Get out of my way. Move, Mr. Ego. Get out of the way. That was the message there. You're a lucky bounce for Russia in the first place, but uh, in the end, Ivan Ramov cannot save the ball. So that's a turnover. Beta looks for the screen. Crossover gives it on the corner with a hand in his face. Too long on the shot was Jonathan Ego. Russia gets the ball back. And the finish from Daniel Abramovsky. Uganda was up by as many as three at the start of the game. Now uh, two points, uh, two points uh, in a row for the Russian Federation. Bail. No look fast, but uh, he was not on the same page with his teammate uh, Henry Alko. Working misses from point blank range. Lob pass inside, intercepted by Chiburki. He wants it back in the post. A two-pointer here for the Russian Federation. Way off. Vasily Bernikov comes up short from beyond the yard, and he will take the seat. Ivan Gramov checking back into the game. This is Bale. Bale creating a lot of space, and he burns the net. He felt that. Now Chiburki, the one against two, the bounce pass, gets it back, wide open for two, pulls the trigger, empty bullets, and the ball rolls out of bounds. Ramo gets the ball to Vertigo. Abramovsky, and we have a foul against Uganda. Uganda stay up by two. Ramo with the ball. Top shot there, missed by Abramovsky. Ego almost lost the handle on that play. Fired Bale, Bale with a crossover, Bale. Nice kick out, top shot by Oko, did not touch the rim. Russia cleared it in no time, but even though he was wide open, Abramovsky was not able to hit. Russia still keeps the possession. Dmitry Chiburkin. Abramovsky, nice. Two-pointer by Bale. This time rims up. Abramovsky looks for Chiburkin. This time in the post. He will try to use his height advantage. But that was too strong on the glass tip. And still no good. A miss from Ramov. And Bale cannot punish Russia for missing two easy shots. King goes up. 6.30 to go. Chiburkin. Chiburki lowering his shoulder, but once again, the shot is too tough. A two-pointer for Uganda, nothing but net. Henry Ockos with the hand in his face, saying you're going to see it and you're going to like it, mister. And now we have a stop in the game after a foul. What a shot. Just moments ago from Henry Oko. That was a very tough shot with a hand in his face. And he drained it. The 
Bravo. Abramovsky, the bounce pass. That's the assist. Simi Bernikov capitalizing the open lane that he got after that great pass by Abramovsky. Bail again from outside, not this time. Blocked out by Bernikov. Abramovsky thought about it, pulls the trigger. <laughs> Once again, off the glass. Many two pointers falling with a window here. This is the start of the 3x3 competition of the League Games in Qatar. Now the foot was on the line. That's a turnover against Uganda. Bravo. Burkin pulls the trick with the head in his face. There you go. Bail. Tries to use his speed, but uh, once again, he bumped into Daniel Abramovsky. That's the power advantage. Uh, it was like bumping into a wall. Chiburki changes the way. Chiburki comes up short from uh, Daniel Abramovsky. And Akov now lays it in. What's the fuck? Henry Akov with a great layup there, even though he was hit here on the hand. That's a clear fall from uh, Ivan Ramov. Now he's going to the free throw line with a chance for a two point play. Misses on the shot. Stays 7 6 in favor of Uganda. Chiburki to put Russia in front. It brings up. Okot. This time no good. Chiburki kicks it out. Abramovsky. He gives it up for another two quarter. Still no good. Abramov misses the shot. This is in the row from uh, Bale. Abramovsky takes the gun there by Russia. Dice game with seven. Not too long, or maybe it will stay tied. Oko missed it from point blank range. And working from outside. Got the back of the iron, and that was it. Turnover here for Uganda. Looks like we have an injury. That's no good for Uganda, especially because this roster is one man short. So if Jonathan Ego will not be able to continue this game, Uganda will play with only two players in this game. And judging by uh, the way he's screaming in pain down there on the court, I don't think he's going to be able to continue that right away. Here are some of the best plays so far in this competition. It's not a good sign. Already two injuries. First uh, for the Russian women team, now for Uganda. Jonathan Ego gets a big round of applause, but he needs to be carried off the court. So, just like I said, Uganda will have to continue this game with only two players on the court because uh, they have a roster composed by only three players. A few weeks ago, Dmitry Chaburkin was part of a three-player roster in Budapest at the World Urban Games, where 3x3 basketball was also represented. He was able to lead his team to the final of that uh, competition. And he was also named 
the MVP of that uh, 3x3 competition in Budapest. Jorkin looked like a man between kids there. That was uh, also a U23 competition. Only players 23 years of age or younger were allowed to participate, just like here at the 2019 World Beach Games in Qatar. Abramovsky now. Ball inside, Chiburkin back to Abramovsky. Good defense by Uganda. Keep in mind, they're playing only with two players on the court. This was a very competitive game. Russia still up by only one point. Little uh, Chiburkin is ready to check the ball from the top of the arc. But uh, Russia now decided to play two on two basketball. This is uh, fair play at its best. How about that? I'm still impressed about this thing. How many teams would have done that? But Chaburkin misses the shot. It's not Russia's fault that Uganda came here with only a three-player roster, but after Jonathan Ego was injured, they decided to play too. So, 3x3 basketball no more. This is 2x2 basketball. Dimitri Chaburkin misses the shot. Now, uh, Oko from outside. No good. Bale with the offensive rebound. Gives it up to Oko. Behind the back pass. Back to Bale with the hand in his face. It rings out, Oko again to Bale, top shot and he puts it in! Two-pointer from Russia, and Ivan Kraus sticks it, giving Russia the one-point lead. They get the ball back. Chiburkin. Chiburkin looking for the screen, pulls the trigger in and out. Fired Bale with a rebound, lets it fly. Did not find the bottom of the net. Chaburkin saves the ball. Ivan Bravo. Bravo now was all over his opponent and he follows Bale. That's uh, team foul number four. It's the, the Russian Federation. And once again, the story of this game. Jonathan Eagle went down, Uganda had only two players available to continue the ball, and Russia with a lot of fur play decided to play with two players too, even though they still have a four player roster available, so one of the players is actually on the court by the rules, but he is staying in the corner of the court and he is not participating in any basketball activities whatsoever as Bale is missing the layup from uh, underneath the basket as uh, looks like Russia will have the ball or maybe not they awarded to Uganda via Bale Bale with a hand in his face way off and the ball rolls out of bounds We have a timeout with less than two minutes until the end of the ball game. So, once again, the Olympic spirit represented at its highest here in Doha, at the Katara Beach. Once again, this is 3x3 basketball plates two on two by now. After the injury of uh, Jonathan Ego, Jonathan Ego injured himself during this game. He was not able to continue. Russia could have taken advantage of that because Uganda came here with only a three-player roster. But the Russian Federation decided they're going to play two on two. Just like I said, the Olympic spirit represented at its highest. Here in Doha, a two-pointer miss here by Russia. Now Russia will have to make sure they're going to get that double. Bale, the nice pass inside and Wong kind of bust the foul. Henry Oko able to absorb the contact. And he will go to the free throw line.
with a chance to put Uganda up by one. Henry Ocon misses the free throw. Hang in there, guys, just one minute. That's what Jonathan Eagle is screaming from the bench. Unable to come back into the game. He would love to play here, but he still gets a lot of medical attention there. Bale from outside. It grims out. Chiburki gets the rebound, and he says, well, oh, that was street ball. From the streets to the Olympics, that was the motto of 3x3 basketball, and that's what uh, Dmitry Chiburkin did there, with move straight from the streets. Chiburkin now, with the drive, lowers his shoulder, and he gets Russia the one point lead. Oko. Bale. High arc shot. Nothing but air there. Kamovsky. And that's a foul against uh, Uganda. Team foul number five. Uganda still with one foul to give. Russia already over the limits. The next foul, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. By Dimitri Chiburki, who just tipped in that ball. Once again, Chiburki. Nice pass, and it's a breezy finish for Ivan Ramo. Fail. That would have been huge for Uganda. Now, Abramovsky grabs the rebound. There's no reason to rush it here. Five seconds on the shot clock. Abramovsky puts on the move. He lets it fly. Fail with the rebound. Clears the ball. Goes on the baseline and he finishes it with a reverse layup. This is not over. We still have a three second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. One possession game here. Uganda needs to get the ball and then score a two pointer. Bale did what he had to do there. Chiburkin with a huge height advantage. So Bale fouled him, sending Chiburkin to the line for one shot. Now they have to hope. Dimitri Chiburkin will miss that shot and they'll have to look for the double. If Chiburkin makes this, it is over. Chiburkin, in and out, but they did not get the rebound. No box out and you are punished. And Chiburkin adds another point and that will do it. Russia wins it, 14 to 11. That last basket will not count. 14 to 11 is the final score. A game that will be remembered, especially for the fair play by the Russian Federation. Once again, the story of this game at midpoint, Jonathan Ego got injured. He was not able to continue Uganda with a three player roster. And Russia decided they gonna play two against two, even though they were not forced to. But in the end, Russia gets the double in 14 to 11. Up next on the court, we're gonna stay in the men's competition. Brazil versus Latvia. In just a few moments.